Welcome back, Whippersnappers. This is Gramps. We're in Shapes 2, and we are cruising along uh, towards milestone number 6. We have our shapes going. We've got this guy right here, a little double teardrop. And then we've got our little checkerboard here, and those two are going to combine together. Um, there it is train is on its way back so those two are going to combine together and um, blend into one which will be our final shape and we'll keep that going which one, oh, we just got this guy oh our first watermelon slice let's go do some more watermelon so that one's picking those up which is good excellent uh, where is watermelon? Watermelon's down here. Uh, you know, I was looking at this, and I think I need to modify it. But I don't want to modify it while this guy is driving along. Although it doesn't matter, because we already got that goal. Okay, so I just need to do a basic modification here. Which is to take these guys. And I'm just going to move it out here a bit. Oops, but not like that. That, oh, I see. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, now we are picking these up, and, and I just need space, because we've got a couple of things that we need to add in. And there's another shape ready to go. Alright, so I'm going to bring up another batch of circles and bring these guys in and then I'm just going to copy this plunk it down here so we've got a double layer double layer of those coming in so we're going to bring that up here And go to our second level stacker double. So we want the green on the bottom. And it's opposite of this. So I'm going to F. And now we're bottom and top. See, again, it's super cool that it's um, still written the same way. Maybe I need to put all the labels on this side and then um, that would solve my issues <laughs> uh, so that is going to make our full watermelon shape cool then uh, after we get that one done we're gonna need a to slice it in half where is it it's down here then we're gonna need to slice it in half so we will have a half cutter right here then we will need to slice it in quarters so we'll do the half and then we'll do a quarter turn and then a half cutter uh, fits in this double block here so we are good to go for that whole line of pieces in the meantime we just had this where's where's this coming in from Uh, no. Is it here? It's here. Okay. So, this one, we've got halves coming in from both sides, and they're being, oh, got it. We've got quarters coming in from both sides. They're being combined into halves here. So we're getting two layers of halves. But then we need um, a layer of folds. Okay, so I'm going to just do this. And I could use my... Um, 
you know, some blueprints, but instead of that, I'm just going to come up here to the top level and do a 50% turn on all these guys. Reconnect them. So now we have the top ones are this way, bottom ones are that way. Cool. And now we can do our regular stacker. It's going to be slower, but it doesn't matter. So, <laughs> my dog just walked in and freaked out for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, so that's cruising along. And again, we're just, you know, th these types of things we're just using to get some upgrade points. Trying to save up to get the, um, you know, the third level. So let's look at this one here. This starts off as just that checker, turns into that combined checker, turns into that one with the gray colored as blue, and then this just doubles up the, the blue checker circle on top, and then green circle checker. So we need we need some circles, we need squares, we need green, and we need blue. So let's see what we can do. Uh, like, let me. Okay, so we're going to start with green square. Here's a square. Here's green. Um, here's green. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find. How come? I mean, we've got shapes like this right next to each other. There's got to be somewhere where there's just green and a square. All right. These guys will do. Uh, we're also going to need some blue. So there's some blue there, blue there. And we're going to need circles. Uh, do we have any circles nearby? I don't see any circles nearby. I'm looking for square and circle. All right. I think this is what we said we were going to work on this time. So let's get let's just get going on that. We're going to work on this operator shape. Oh, that's right because we completely we killed it here and in fact we still have remnants of it. So let's get rid of that this whole thing is a remnant. All this, all this. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Good, good. So, and that's good to go. This one, in theory, is being. We're doing something about that, right? Just need some squares. All right, we'll work on that one later. We're going to go boink back to here. Okay, so we've got squares and green. So let's get that going first. We need um, raw resources. Minor block we're going to get. Here's the squares. So we're going to get squares and squares. Again, leaving space. These ones on the bottom are going to get painted with a fluid block. Okay, I believe that's the left painter. Yep, uh, flipped upside down. Excellent. All right, so that's going to create green 
squares. Now we need our checker. Um, we made a checker board. Oh, we only did checker board one level. That's okay. What do... Oh, no. Alright. Oh, I'm missing this shape. Arg. Alright. I'm going to do it. That got us uh, this foundation and this foundation. Okay. So our checkerboard, we've got input, input, and then a double output. So. Um, but we only have it for one layer right now. So I'm going to duplicate that. Checkerboard to level. Put that in this folder. Okay. So going to bring this and we don't want that we want that kind of but what about that no there we go that will work oh wait 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 no we're coming in from there It's not going to be a perfect lineup, but it will work. Oops. Oh, wait. What is going on? Yes, we're in here. In here. Got it. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Okay, that's making us our checkerboards. Now we need blue stars. So, do that right here. Oops, <laughs> I did not mean to stamp that down, but there we go. We'll, we're going to do this, and actually, we'll do this. Okay, so that's two levels of stars, but what we really want... Oops, is to not cut that. We want this duplicated. Because, uh, as I said, we've got double um, outputs over here. So we've got double outputs. Okay. Let's see here. Those are way up there. Let's just get them 
on their way down. Alright, then we're going to want two double stackers. So there, stacker, I need to rename that, it bugs me. <laughs> it does. Um, Alright, and bottom and top. Perfect. Actually, that is a perfect position. As is this. No, let's, uh, let's do that. Bottom to bottom there. Ah, but here. Gonna have this guy coming in. So that one cuts under. Excellent. That creates our final shape. So We're just going to bring those out here. <clears throat> Go to our train. Zoom way out. Because we are way out. <laughs> and... Why not? I'm just going to bring it to here. And let's get a, get that going. And then we're going to do a double unloader. Mm -hmm. This is going to be problematic. So we'll have to move that. Oh, what do we have here? A little jump. That is good. I can't put it right here because then the train gets blocked and won't be able to do its little spin around. So we do that. Oh, you know what we can do? All right, I know I'm spending points I shouldn't. Let's unlock the roller, the roller coaster. Come on. If we can't unlock the roller coaster now, when can we? So, uh, where is it? Here, decorations. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. I mean, we paid extra for the decorations. Let's, let's unlock them as soon as we can and use them. I was... Uh, Cursing myself out. Uh, right, and uh, actually deleting that. And boom, beep, boom. There we go. We are good to go on that. It's going to take some time. Why is it? Oh my god. It's so dumb sometimes. That works. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah, let's let's just do this. Do it now before I do it later, and uh, pay the price. All right. Good. Watermelon. Need some more slicing and dicing. So, next we need to do a half cut to level. Oh, and then I'm still not going to be good. We need to move it out one more. Okay. Because we're going to need the half cut to be here again after we take our halves and do a quarter spin on them here. 
Oh, we've got more operator points. Yay. Claim that. Um, if you don't claim those operator points right away, you're not losing anything. It's still bringing shapes in in the background. Okay. So that's good. And, and oh, look at this. We are, I just, goodness gracious. All right, we are good to go up here. So, here's our teardrop. So our teardrop comes in. Hmm. It's right there, let's say. Uh, now all those are just sitting around. Okay, our teardrop is going to unload. No, yeah, that's right. Okay, teardrop comes and unloads. Then these guys, I'm just gonna kibosh that whole thing. Oh, we need to, you know what? I hate to do it, but we're just gonna kill those guys. Doesn't matter, we don't need them. this and I'm just saying it's not letting me place it that's okay there and a wagon so uh, we're going to bring these in and combine with these so again that's going to be a double stacker with, yep, perfect. We want these on the bottom, these on the top. Put it sort of in the middle. Not that, but this. And then a loader. Perfect. And where's where's our train here? All right. I'm going to ah let's kill one car there for sure. Come on, this should be creating that. There we go. All right. So that's going to start loading this up. Should be good to go pretty quickly. And that's going to start delivering this final milestone shape. That's operator three. Excellent. Let's go look at this guy. We need these to be green. I don't think we have any green paint in the area. Well, oh, no, we do. Look at that. I'm just going to delete all that because we don't need it. Um, so, bringing in a fluid block, and I will leave room for it, even though it'll never get maxed out. Then we're going to do a double painter left, and flip it, nope, rotate it, there we go. Okay, and then the next one on that is going to be that on top of a just a gray square. And we don't have any square shapes right around here, except for this guy. Which, how come we can't unpaint? We do need to go ahead and get rid of that, though. Um, mm hmm. Okay, so these guys are coming in. Oh, and there's nothing there. Oh, 
of this. Alright. It is time to get rid of some of this funkiness, I think. Let's hide that. Watermelons. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to, for the time being, run these all in here. these into the upper layer. Okay. So that's bringing all of those guys in there, which we don't need any of. I'm just going to leave that for kicks for right now. So I want to redirect this in here, just for now. Bring those watermelon slices in there. Okay, this guy. This is our operator shape. How are we doing with this? Oh my goodness, look at that. That is beautiful. Although, I'm seeing a problem. The problem is I did not create any trains for this. going to get started and come in here to deliver which means ah oh, we can't even do that all right I'm just gonna deliver in there anyway there's nothing going on with this what is this one bringing us. Oh, that's this whole brand new shape we just created, <laughs> which is vital, vital. Did it just drop them off? Why is it not showing me anything? These guys come in. Those ones are just going to roll in that way. Alright. I got it. This is just temporary pain until we can get um, get our other get all of our vortex spaces opened up. Okay. And up. There we go. Okay, that's delivering those guys. Is this one? Why does this one have nothing? We do have a red line, so that means the train is scheduled to come all the way. Okay, I think this is just its first delivery. If you zoom in, then the train 
will speed up to catch you. Come on. All right. Yeah, that's looking good. Oh, I thought we were gonna get to see the uh, the loop de loop. Where's our loop de loop train? Let's watch that. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. All right. This. Guy, yes, did drop off those ones. But we've got a double. We don't need a double for him. So we don't need to worry about that. Okay, I'm going to speed it up to the, uh, to the loop. Watermelon. <laughs> you can see our watermelon is done. Now we need to do our quarters. Again, super easy because we have it all done and blueprinted. So we're giving a two level quarter rotate, which rotates these guys to that way. And we just need to cut those in half. Oh no. Okay, so here's the problem. It's going to give it to us in different ways. And we don't like that. So I'm going to cut it off there. Get rid of that. And let these ones be the test, the tester. We can also get rid of those. So if you don't get rid of those other ones, they are going to um, cause you some troubles. Uh -huh. Okay. So we want to rotate this one that way. And I'm just going to plunk this down on all those. Then come up here and do the same plunkage. Okay. Copy, paste, there we go. Now you can see here how they're not flipping back and forth. The problem is these will never fill up, I believe, and I, I haven't tested this, but <clears throat> if you've got, let's say, just a square in here, and then you send a circle in, it's going, it deletes all the squares you had built up and replaces it with a circle. So I think... I might be right for that. I, I'll test it, but anyway. That's where we are with that. We do have more operator points. Claim, yay, that's our new shape. So that is working. Excellent. And then one more quick thing is over here. So we were looking for some squares, which we've got there, and we've got here. Uh, I hate using these, but it's just for a, uh, it's just a temporary. So I'm going to grab a minor level one. And fill it up. And that will be 
Uh, this one. This next guy here. So the only problem... No, this is single level. That's okay, but... I do... want to... take these guys... and bring them up here. So those are kicking down at the top level. That way I'm just going to put in one of my normal stackers and we will be all set. And they're just going to go in on one layer. That is absolutely fine. Well, cool. We've got um, some stuff chugging along. Why is this not showing any improvement? What is wrong here? This should have more than zero. Because it should be coming in on this train. Oh no. I think I know it is. Okay, you see on the point of the teardrop, it's a red. Yeah. I need to give those guys a quarter turn. Alright. Sorry, I hope I'm not ma <laughs> making you sick. Ugh, such a pain. Just kibosh all those. Ah, so annoying. It's good to check things out, kids. See, now on the point it has green. Point is green. These ones, the point is red. Point is still red. In fact, I can see it from here without even having to zoom in. start doing the correct ones. There we go. There's a correct one. Okay. <laughs> ah, yay. Okay, now we're going to come back in really quickly. Get these going. work. Oops, not that stacker. We're just going to go with this one. It should give us this guy here. Alright. You can see we're already back up to 27 research points, so that's good. That looks like what we want. Okay, so that's going to deliver those. Once those are done, we've got 12. Once the watermelon slices are done, that's another bunch. That's another 14. All right, so we'll be close. We'll we'll be able to get our triple layer next episode and then we're just going to start ramping everything up so that's a bit of a process <laughs> um, we might start on these getting going on these guys again and we kind of started it these ones are good so you know these are all going to lead up eventually to 14 of those 
Once we're done with this milestone, then we've got pins, pin pushers, which is a whole new thing and a whole new operator shape. Then color mixing, and then crystals, and then final qualification. So, we're cruising along. Everything's going well. We've got lots of stuff coming in. So, thank you for joining. If you're enjoying, please uh, like and a subscribe is always helpful. Oh, here comes our first. Nope. It's not. It hasn't even built up a batch yet. Come on. Alright, there's one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, anyway, thank you. Like I said, and uh, yes, as I was saying, with my brilliance, if you want to support my brilliance, a like and a subscribe are always welcome. I appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. We will be back next episode. This is Gramps signing off.